be more just grateful and happy. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, let's get right down to this episode. We have some really cool, fun things to talk about. So let's start off with this week's Netflix Top 10 in the U.S. Coming in at number 10 is a really cute animated movie from the mid 2000s, mid to late 2000s, um, Monsters vs. Aliens. Super cute. I remember taking my sister to see that movie. <laughs> Coming in at number 9 was I think two weeks ago's number 1, uh, the recent Zack Snyder directed film starring Dave Bautista army of the dead and um while we're on the subject of army of the dead be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel youtube.com slash taylor hendrix because i'm going to be starting some really cool movie reviews and i might just start with army of the dead Yay! so that is your number nine this week coming in at number eight extreme dun, dun, dun. coming in at number seven uh we saw this appear last week in the top 10 is a really cute netflix animated um film called doggone trouble Doggone it. <laughs> Coming in at number six is another really cute animated film starring Jim Parsons, I think Rihanna, and a bunch of others. Like, this is like a who's who of voicing. A really, really cute movie about an alien who accidentally invites the entire galaxy to a party, and it doesn't end very well for the planet Earth. Coming in at number six is Home. Coming in at number five, which has pretty much been a mainstay in the top ten for, like, I don't know, four months. <laughs> Coming in at number five, making a huge comeback is none other than Coco Melon. Coming in at number four is brand new to the Netflix top 10 this week in the US, Dirty John. I don't know, that just sounds more like a Robert Redford film meets like Quentin Tarantino almost, right? Like, is anybody else feeling me on that one? Um, coming in at number three is a brand new to the top 10 also this week called Hearts. Coming in at number two was a um, a show that was basically brought back from the dead, so to speak, and brought to Netflix after it was canceled um, by another provider, and has had several very successful seasons. Um, I think it was last week's uh, number one. It's in its final season. Coming in at number two this week is Lucifer. And your number one, brand new to the Netflix top 10. It is a brand new debut for 2021 content. Is It's none other than Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth comes in at your number one this week for the Netflix top 10 in its first season. And true to the Netflix streaming platform has eight full action-packed episodes chronicling the perilous adventure of this being that's half boy and half deer. And he's trying to navigate this journey across a post-apocalyptic world. Um, he's very lovable and he's trying to figure himself out because he's half deer, half human, and he's um, searching for basically a new beginning with a very gruff and tough uh, but loyal protector. Sounds super cute. I cannot wait to see it. It looks like they did a very good job, very creative. I'm always very interested in seeing basically like newer stuff not stuff that's been recycled and recopied and repurposed but brand new type of like ideas i think it's very exciting so that is your netflix top 10 this week uh to continue on that same vein we're going to go with my weekly recommendations on netflix where every week i pretty much give you different recommendations on stuff i've watched and or i find interesting um, this week I am recommending, like always, always every week, gotta recommend The Grey's Anatomy. What I love is there's just so many seasons of binge-worthy content. So you basically have seasons 1 through 16 on Netflix, and then if you have Hulu, you can go right to the current season of season 17 on Hulu. I think there are like 14 um, episodes into season 17. So it's getting crazy! Um, I am recommending the movie with, I believe, Woody Harrelson and Emma Stone. Um, and more zombie land. I really loved one and two guys. And I definitely know that number one is on Netflix. Um, loved it. Um, for more binge worthy, uh, television to keep you busy. Uh, I, like I've told you guys before, I love binge worthy stuff that I can watch. Oh, there goes my birthday banner, <laughs> um, that I can watch to keep it to keep me busy basically during cardio so I'm not focusing on the fact that I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> uh, so this is also along that same vein as well, The Walking Dead. Um, it's on its final season so you can binge pretty much everything and catch up on Netflix. Um, next is based off of a Stephen King novel. Um, they've turned it into a show and it was really good. I am slowly catching up on it, slowly but surely. Um, the Mist. I, I thought the few episodes that I have seen guys was really good so highly recommend you check that out. 
Um, and the last one, just to get a really like fun laugh. Um, I love Robert Downey Jr. So he's really, really funny. And so is Zach Galifianakis. Um, yes. And, uh, Paul Rudd. <laughs> They're so funny. Um, so I highly recommend you check out Due Date. Super funny. I love movies like that. Like super bad Due Date. Um, just there's so many good, so much good stuff. Those are my Netflix recommendations this week. Now, normally right here, I would go into my HBO Max recommendations, but I, I have pretty much the same two. Um, I'm obsessed with Young Justice and I'm obsessed with The Big Bang Theory. So those are my two recommendations this week. And I wanted to let you guys know that for my birthday, I am actually watching something on that just came out on June 4th in theaters and on the HBO Max app. Um, tonight, I am going to be watching The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. Growing up in a haunted house, I'm very like I, I love that sort of genre of horror films so I am so excited I've successfully avoided all the spoilers <laughs> since it came out on the fourth so fingers crossed that I loved it and next week I'll be able to tell you guys all about it and I'm also most likely going to be reviewing that on my YouTube channel so make sure you're following youtube.com slash Taylor Hendricks super excited okay